most prestigious club competition in European football. And now it comes down to this, the final itself. Who will prevail? It's Manchester City. They face Arsenal live right here on EA TV. And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. It is Manchester City versus Arsenal. Well, Derek, we've got some of the world's top players out there tonight, so this has to be a great game, doesn't it? I just hope we see both sides play to their full potential. I can't wait for this. And here's the Manchester City lineup. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Erling Haaland. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. A disappointing end to the move. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the main forward is Gabriel Jesus. Well, Kevin De Bruyne, one of the complete midfield players in the modern game. Stuart, what do you expect we'll see from him this time around? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous. When he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. Well, just the tackle that was needed. Gabriel Martinelli. And the defenders know they need to get tighter. Can't really allow runs like that. Havertz. And still trying to get the shot off. Good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Foden. Here's Alvarez. Jeremy Doku. Ball with Rodri. Is cutting off the supply. Martin Erdegaard. Play City throw. Foden. Here's Alvarez. Phil Foden. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Still looking for space. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. High habits. Rice with it. Habits. Keeping the ball moving. Marcinelli. And the ball back with City here. Potentially dangerous position for City. The Gunners have lost the ball. Gabriel Jesus. It's with Erdogan. Jesus. Every pass hitting its target. the whistle then we're at the halfway stage in this match so they get the ball rolling in the second half even Steven here so little to choose between the sides 
Perfect tackle. how to keep the opposition at bay William Saliba White it's with Erdogan that's a good pass oh that's a solid piece of defending when it looked as though it might go wrong for them Jeremy Doku and they know they need to stop him options in the middle element of risk there but he's won the ball 30 minutes left for play Nothing productive, really. Alvarez. It's Ruben Diaz. Walker now. Ruben Diaz. To the final 20 minutes. William Saliba. Rice with it. Havertz. Might work out. It will be Arsenal's corner as they try to nudge in front in this game. So making the substitution now. It's a good delivery from the corner, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Foden really fine play to keep possession Jorginho Martin Erdogan De Bruyne intercepting it intelligently might be a chance to break. Five minutes remaining, and one thing is certain, no one is leaving, because it's still close. Jeremy Doku. He's certainly not alone. Chasing this game, Manchester City, with time running out. Holland. 
This could square the game. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. There will be three minutes added on at the end. Alexander Zinchenko. Arsenal remain on the front foot. Can they find a winning goal? And making sure there was no danger in the end. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes. But this is not over. And two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. underway here and it's quite simple both teams must steal themselves for 30 extra minutes possession ceded by the Gunners And Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. But they took care of the situation defensively. Martinelli. Now with Jesus. Well, we can give them high marks for their passing, but can they make this pressure count? Opportunity to deliver the cross. Defending well organized at the back. Half time in extra time, and still they are level. And so 15 more minutes. We're into the second period of extra time here. Rodri. Committed challenge. An encouraging Arsenal move. Gabriel Jesus. And still trying to get the shot off. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. And a pass that lacks quality. And with the teams locked together, Arsenal chasing and chasing that winner. Can he find the right pass? Rice? Marcinelli? And a promising... Can he put them in front? After 120 minutes, they cannot be separated. And so, in this Champions League... And now, it is all about the penalty shootout. And the penalty converted here. Can he convert? 
Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. And slotted home right into the bottom corner. Excellent penalty. So lethal in front of goal. And up he comes, doing his best to remain focused. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Low and accurate, that penalty. Can he keep his cool? And confidently converts it. And he's beaten the keeper. His turn to try to convert from the spot. And the keeper makes the all-important save. What a big moment. Well, a successful kick here, and that will be that. And there it is! That brings it to a conclusion, and a contrast in emotions. One team joyful, the other absolutely devastated. Well, what drama, what scenes, and what a good finish to this game. It really has been exhilarating. Well, in football, you don't forget these moments in a hurry. Due reward for their persistence and their overall excellence. Well, it really has been engrossing today. Such a tight game that you have to feel sorry for the losers. They were so close, but yet so far away. And the party mood has enveloped the stadium. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. They don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. Arsenal, the winners of the UEFA Champions League. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. Well, the celebrations are ongoing. I don't think they're going to be brought to an end anytime soon as they save for the moment with their supporters. And they've certainly played their part.